Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. We're going to be doing a lot of messaging here in the beginning and then I will put separate groups so you can choose which group you want to add on to this beginning message. So I just want to let you know some really exciting things that are going on. First and foremost, those dailies that I had been posting here are just on YouTube Shorts. And I've been hearing people say, oh, I have to go hunt for them. Literally, when you go to my page, here's where it normally would be. It's now down here. That's really the only difference, okay? And I'm hearing a lot of you are not getting notifications for videos. So let's not depend on YouTube notifications. I haven't depended on that since 2014. So just come visit the channel. Even if there isn't a brand new video up right when you look and come and see what's there, all of the messages are timeless. So you can go back. There's a whole library of spiritual how-to videos. There's a whole playlist on that. So you can go check that out. And I'm going to be making an updated video on angel signs because we have evolved as creatures and <laughs> the way we get um, messages is evolving as well. But I'll get into all of that in a separate video. And yes, I'm still offering live video readings if you want to do that. But I am booking that in a different kind of way than my standard reading. So if you want a live video reading with me that's conducted via Zoom, just email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com for availability and pricing. If you want my standard reading, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. I will tell you that I try to reward people who are keeping track of the community tab by putting special offers there every once in a while. So make sure you're checking out the community tab as well. All right, let's get some messages. Special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. You make this possible. And everybody who supports me by buying the courses on Gumroad as well. That helps out a ton. Okay, so let's see what our message is here. We've had lots of things shifting, changing. What's happening? Yeah, black tourmaline protection. So this... You know, not everybody is going to be evolving. Not everybody will have your best interest at heart. People who are greedy, they like to take and take and take from others and never give back. That's going to be coming up to the surface and you're going to be seeing it in a big way. I was just hearing an example of a woman who found uh, a job posting with her company for the position that she has. Now, they weren't replacing her. They were just adding on. And they were offering like $100,000 for that position when she was making sixty. So it could be something like that where you're realizing, hey, I'm not being treated fairly. You know, this is not good. Or people who uh, just don't like that things are shifting and changing in this world and trying to take it out on everybody else and trying to make it everybody else's problem. Black tourmaline helps absorb that negativity and protects you. It's also incredibly grounding. So... This might be for those of you out there watching this too, so that you uh, cleanse away any negativity, any negative self-talk, you know, that sort of thing. All right, what else we have here? We have, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I guess it's Hidden Night Gratitude. See, this, you see where this is going? It's like, okay, cleanse away some of those ego pursuits. Cleanse away some of the ego approaches to things. Don't allow yourself to get all wound up in blame, shame, guilt, self-doubt, you know, all of that. Have gratitude for how far you've come and how much you have gotten yourself through. <laughs> like, we have to look at that. If you've been able to survive up until this point, you're doing okay. All right? Have gratitude for what you already have, not focusing on what you don't have. Here's the next one. Kyanite blue, letting go. Wow, there's a lot of detoxing going on here and clearing. Um, yeah, so Kyanite, as soon as you hold it, it clears out all of your chakras. But all of these cards so far are telling you to, to move with the changes. As I was saying, you know, there, there was, uh, you know, I moved everything over to YouTube Shorts. And people had... A real problem with that like why are you changing because the times are changing <laughs> I'm changing with them and I can't you know keep doing all kinds of different readings you know I have them in certain places I let you know where they are whether you show up or not that's up to you right so you know this kyanite blue 
I would say blue kyanite, <laughs> kyanite will help you kind of cleanse all that away. And also for people who feel out of control and then want to start controlling everybody else and their every little move or gaslighting or questioning everything that they're doing, this helps kind of cleanse all that away, whether someone's doing it to you or you find yourself doing it to someone else. This kind of brings everything back into an equilibrium, okay? Okay, what else we got? Agate, healthy body. You know what's so funny? Um, let me know, any Scorpios out there, did you suddenly feel like, you know, junk food doesn't sound so good. So you're probably like, no, I'm still in it, you know. But um, Or I want to exercise. I want to move my body. This is getting rid of stagnant energy. Getting up, moving, uh, meditating, you know, making sure you're taking care of yourself, okay? So I feel like we're still in it. We're still in the transformation. It'll probably be going on for quite some time. And uh, for some of us, it may not be pleasant. You know, I mean, if you're not meant to be living where you are, you're going to feel, dropping the cards, uh, you're going to feel a huge shift around that. But it has to be the perspective shift that happens, right? Then all of your actions and choices can come from that. Yeah, here we go. Sapphire, regenerate your body. The number is 38. You know what's funny with this? I was just thinking about this this morning, about how much stress so many of us have been under for so many years, right? To the point where it's like we might not have even noticed that we're no longer taking care of ourselves because, you know, it's just we're in survival mode. And when we're in survival mode, we may neglect ourselves. So this is telling us to turn that around Get things cleaned up, whether it's your finances, your love life, your home. Get that energy cleansed and cleared to make room for the new, okay? So we're going to leave it there for the general message. Let's break it down into the groups. Group one, I promise I will remember to put the time stamps in. I know, I keep forgetting. So anyway, but it seems like everybody's just kind of watching all the groups anyway. So hopefully it hasn't been too much of a problem for you. Just as a reminder, I have so many offerings. And I'm putting this into each of the groups as well because people keep asking where this stuff is. I have a whole playlist on my YouTube channel, spiritual how-tos, angelic readings, all that stuff. And it's timeless. It's there. Uh, dailies are moving to YouTube Shorts. So it's usually here. Now it's here. Not a big deal. Okay. So there is that. Of course, I still have courses on Gumroad. And people who support me on Patreon are making it more and more possible for me to focus on video content that can be accessed by everybody. But in the meantime, if you would like a personal reading, you can book a live reading by emailing me, angelsouls444 at gmail.com. It's different pricing, different scheduling type way. And then if you want the standard reading, you can go to angelsouls444.com. That's my website. And if you follow me on my community tab, every once in a while, I have a little promotion going on. So make sure you're checking that out. Sunstone empowerment. This is more than empowerment because sunstone is a prosperity stone, okay? But if you're going around looking at everything that's wrong with your life, if you're wanting to blame others, if you're saying, woe is me, feeling sorry for yourself, and I gotta tell you, there's been this other sort of message that's been coming up. 
showing how greedy and entitled people have been. And I've been really watching myself, like, where do I just assume things? Where do I just, like, you know, I need to start putting myself in other people's shoes, even as I'm going on about my day. Like, how are my actions affecting others, right? And, and it doesn't have to be to this, like, crazy level where at every moment you're wondering if, if you're allowed to take up space. It's not that. It's when you start pulling back on just plowing through our day and not really caring that we're interacting with other people, right? And that could be affecting them. So, you know, part of this empowerment is in a healthy, balanced way, taking up space, but also being mindful of those around you. And um, for some of you, I feel like don't let people take advantage of you. So, and that could be very much in an energetic kind of way. So if you have somebody who constantly just emotionally dumps on you, I mean, if it's somebody who has a lot of problems and they need some help getting to help, that's one thing. But people who think you're put on this earth to just absorb what they don't want, that needs to stop. So then we have Diopte's heart healing. See, you're giving your energy back to you. You're um, saying, no, I, I can do what my heart wants me to do. No, I don't have to hang on to that stuff from the past and keep living in fear or making myself small. See, this is part of that, right? So, and I love this crystal. It's such a beautiful, heart-opening kind of crystal. You know, I feel, it's kind of interesting. I think from the past three years, a lot of you have, you know, like I was saying in the beginning of the general reading there, it's like we're in survival mode. And I think some of you are just now starting to lift your head up and look around <laughs> yeah, and letting yourself get back into a place of joy. Or you may have discovered that, you know, the way you've been living, it just doesn't resonate with you anymore. That's going to be a message for everybody as well. But there's a nice turn happening here. And I feel like it's saying no to one way or no to a situation or feeling more comfortable saying no to people, setting those boundaries. No, I'm not gonna keep offering this, this, and this to you when I get nothing in return. No, I'm not going to offer my friendship to you when the only time I ever hear from you is when you want something. You know, it's that sort of thing. So it's nice. It's a nice turn, I think. <laughs> Clear quartz purification. There is a theme going on here. I'm telling you, you're paving the way for something new. Now, for some of you, this has to do with heart connection. So if you're already with someone, what's the color cards? Uh, if you're already with somebody, this might be clearing up some, some old arguments. If you're single, this is finally realizing like, hey, I'm worth it. Um, and no, I can take my time, you know, meeting someone. I don't have to rush off and do whatever. Uh, career stuff, I'll tell you what. <laughs> there is a big thing for some of you out there with career where it's like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I am tired. Of Again, it's the whole theme of being taken advantage of and not being treated fairly. And not so that you can play victim, but... If you know what you're worth, you can go after what you want, right? Okay, so we have brown, established boundaries. The number is 12. We're done here. <laughs> like We're done letting people get away with things that take our energy or hold us up. This is that kind of thing where, um, let's say, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an example. Let's say someone is like, oh, you can't work for that company because if you do, you're a sellout. Or you can't accept help from this group of people because if you do, blah, blah, blah. They all make, they're just making this stuff up. Set those boundaries because all they're trying to do is hold you up because they weren't offered the same opportunity. So I wanna tell some of you to be careful with anybody. If you see a job, let's say, and it does feel like career. If you see a job that you wanna go after, and someone says, oh, no, no, you can't do that. That's terrible. That's a terrible job. <sighs> feel out how you feel about the job. Don't listen to them because I feel a lot of people wanting to pull. This is a big theme, and this is going to be going on for a while. 
because we're experiencing this um, sort of parting of ways. Some people are going to stay stuck in the old way and they want people to stay there with them. Don't allow yourself to be held up because of someone else's perspective around that. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Hello, group two. Let's see what is going on for you in case you skip the intro. Courses on Gumroad. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon. Uh, it was a viewer who pointed out that if all the viewers gave a dollar per year to like their top maybe five, ten favorite YouTubers, you, those YouTubers could focus solely on doing video content and wouldn't have to do anything else because <laughs> they would be able to make a living. So I just thought that was an interesting point. So there's that. But also, if you want to get a personal reading with me, I'm scheduling live readings right now. That's based on availability. The price is different. You have to email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. If you want my standard reading, that can be booked through my website, angelsouls444.com. And check out the community tab because I put promos up there every once in a while. This came up in the general. So you're getting, if you watch the general at the beginning and this one, you're getting a double message for protection. All right, let's see what that's about. More protection. So black tourmaline is protective and grounding and so is tiger's eye. Now this says courage. Let me, let's get the full story here. Divine temple source. Wow. I feel like this is really looking at your life. Saying, I don't want this, this, and this anymore. I'm done with that. I'm done struggling. I'm done, whatever, you know. I'm done being out of touch with source. And so there's some moves that you're going to need to make here that would have you stepping outside your comfort zone. And it can be working on stability too and finding that your way back to stability, especially financial stability might be by connecting with source, um, getting back in touch with who you really are. See, a lot of us go down the road of like, oh, you know, this job is so toxic. I know my soul wants me to do X, Y, and Z. And then they go off and do it and they can't make it financially doing that. Um, sometimes we overcorrect and we take too many risks, you know. Uh, but we do have fairy stone fertility. So what this is saying here is you're crafting and creating something else. But you're going to have to make a major decision here. You're creating. Creating from advice probably from... God, source, creator, but that protection, that courage, it just feels like so many people. And this is a theme, okay? Some people have been really going through this. The theme of just holding back. Just holding holding up and holding back. And I think part of that courage and that protection is saying, no, I no longer belong to you. And this might be a boss, okay? I no longer belong to you. I, you guys know I have a story where I had a... I had a lot of really weird bosses in the past, but one of them was exceptionally abusive and told me she was going to throw me on the floor and that is where I was going to work until she needed me to do something else for her. And when I quit, like a week, two, I don't remember when it was, a couple weeks later maybe, she was actually shocked. So she had been doing that thing of being excessively abusive, well, being abusive uh, to get me to quit. And then when I did it, she was shocked because she didn't think I had courage to do it. I mean, she thought I belonged to her. So that, I, I'm feeling a little bad and I'm like, I wonder if some of you aren't going through this. Or maybe it's a toxic relationship. If that's the case, please make sure you are properly supported as you make any necessary changes. You know, fertility, you could take that quite literally if some of you are looking to have a child. But, you know, we always have to read these cards in context of the full message. And this is like in order to create something new, you have to get yourself. It feels like a bad situation. Yeah, a bad situation. <laughs> uh, this is green. Numbers 31, revitalize your nervous system. So something has been burdening you, overtaxing you. Um, hmm. 
it's something that has gotten you stagnant and stuck out of fear. And this almost feels like being afraid to stand up for yourself or afraid of the change. And I'm hearing backlash because there would be backlash. There would be people trying to tear you down or saying, who, who do you think you are to go off and do that? Or who do you think you are to leave me? Again, get protection. Whoever near you could help you out of this. For others of you, this is being out of touch with what you were put on this earth to do. Getting out of touch with your path. Not wholly off your path because you're human. So that's already being on your path. But I'm saying like where you might have wanted to be by now or where you what you wanted to create in your life by now has gotten held up. And it has gotten held up by collective lessons. Now you're finding the place of strength and courage to carry on, to get back to what you were doing before the world came to a screeching halt, right? So there is kind of going back and collecting up or getting back on that wavelength again, okay? So we're going to leave it there for you guys and let's get on to group three. Hello, group three. Let's see what's going on for you. If you skip the intro, course is on Gumroad. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon. That means the world to me. The more people support me on Patreon, the more I can devote time uh, to doing video content, you know, because obviously like that's what supports this channel <laughs> along with liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, but if you'd like to get a personal reading, you can do my standard reading by booking through angelsouls444.com. If you want a live reading, I'm booking those a little bit differently. Those have a different price point. You have to email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Okay? All right. Let's see what you've got going on here. Rose Quartz Inner Child. So we're starting off strong with that. Healthy body. <laughs> we had that going on. Uh, I think in the general as well. Just feeling it out here. Rhodochrosite acceptance. This is, okay, let me stop right here. Rose quartz and rhodochrosite are considered love crystals. This is giving self-love. This is giving, I need to rediscover my worth. I need to give myself time and attention, which has been a theme, it seems like, throughout all of these readings. But this is like, this is, this is a little more specific in that for some of you, there could be very specific people who maybe you're just now waking up and realizing, oh my gosh, I believe that about myself because that person said that to me 20 years ago. Or I went through this horrible breakup and since then I've had my heart closed off. I don't trust anybody, right? Um, yeah, this is recovering lost trust. And it might be around love, but definitely around interaction with others, pre night trust. You guys are going through a massive massive healing moment here um and it's all around the heart it's all around the heart space letting a very burdensome hurtful like letting go of a hurt letting go of a hurt not because anybody swooped in and saved you but because you were there for yourself this is giving heavy like having come out an, of an abusive relationship or having been abused in childhood, God forbid, God forbid, get with a therapist if that is the case. Um, and now just waking up and going, okay, why am I still living in that fear? I can protect and shield myself. I can reparent my inner child. Um, just because some people have proved, proven to be untrustworthy doesn't mean that I can't ever trust another human being ever. Um, you know, I'm strong now. I can be discerning. I can be there for me. Yeah. 
So we have coral, a love flow and synchronicity into your life. The number is 18. What this is showing is that this has been the holdup, okay? Along with like, you know, there's all kinds of energies that we're dealing with here. But this has held you up maybe from creating the life that you want from more than anything, trusting. So for some of you, if you aren't completely... Um, in alignment with others, if you're afraid to love again, you know, all those kinds of things. Uh, it even comes down to, and this might seem a little off topic, and I, I understand, but this also has the feeling of, like, animals are coming up here, like pets. Um, if some of you lost a pet, you might go, I'm never getting a pet again. No, that was too hard. You know what I'm saying? It's like having had an experience that was so rough that you have not gotten past it and so in a way you hold up your success so if you had a bad work experience maybe you're very you know skittish about accepting a different job assuming that it's going to be the same stuff you know what I'm saying so you're in a place now where you can break free of this you can allow yourself to go back into uh, that flow so that when opportunities come up, you don't find some reason to avoid taking it, but you look at it, assess, be discerning, and see if it's the right thing for you, right? This is going to be a big part of your healing, and it's going to reduce some stress here. I think, especially recently, every time this healthy body card comes up, it has to do with <laughs> like healing the stress, okay, healing all of that, and finding your way back to love. Now, if you're one of those people who walks around, you're all crusty, and you're like, love is for fools or something, <laughs> I don't know. it's kind of me, I don't know, but I'm getting better, I'm, I'm definitely getting better, I'm ready for love now, for sure, but this is you softening a little bit, and not having your armor so thick around you, right, not having the walls around you, so Take it step by step so that you don't get overwhelmed. But definitely do not prevent this from happening. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> this is a beautiful time for you. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.